Hello, you're watching Avniaks, where Jungkook good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. 反转人生 When You Be Me is a 26 episode drama that's being aired on Tencent as well as Mango Television. First week, it already aired 12 episodes. This first impression is based on that. It is directed by Chen Chang. Led by Zhou Yiran, Ma Sichao, it is a contemporary high school setting body swap drama. It was shot last year from May to August, and it's based on a novel that was first written back in 2018 on the web novel platform Jinjiang. And that novel's original length is pretty much exactly as how long the original novel of Guardian is. In this drama, you'll come across the two leading characters, played by Zhou Yiran and Ma Sichao, Mu Xiangxiang and Chao Nan, and they're both in the second year of the high school. The girl is a good student, very good student, but very timid and quiet, and only cares about getting good score and getting to a university, be the good girl. She comes from a rather not well-doing family that doesn't have a lot of money and is constantly being bullied by one of their relatives, whereas the guy. Is in his third time of the second year of the high school. Clearly not a good student who happens to have a really really rich dad, but a very problematic domestic、uh, environment. What an archetypical setup! And one day, because of an accident, they body swap. Everything you can expect coming with that kind of story setup would show up in this drama. Based on the first twelve episodes I've watched, I'll give it a. One point six gold mine. It's not a two gold mine yet. Waiting for the、uh, next half of the drama to finish. Now, as usual, positive and not so positive end of things. On the very positive end, number one is this is another very good standard production contemporary drama, and I kind of see this pretty much in every contemporary drama this year. That they are all, even though with different styles, different genre, very different type, they are all pretty much performing on the same level of production standard. So these days, you can say in 2022, I mean it's made in 2021, that most of the Chinese dramas in contemporary drama genre fulfill the basic requirement and your expectation of. You know, 2022 productions. The second great thing about this drama is, as you can expect from this kind of story setup, it would have to have a lot of comedy. That's why people write body swap stories. It's trying to milk the situation and just test how many comedy possibilities we can, you know, do with this. And they do very well at comedy timing, at awkward situation, at unexpected twists, and、um, heightened dramatic moments with music and sound effects and. Pause <laughs> in the drama. So if you compare it to last year's Liang Jie, Zhang Xincheng led the Day of Becoming You drama, this drama's comedy would be much more situational to high school, whereas the other one is to people working as adults, society, and other things. This drama wouldn't push the overly dramatic moments as much as. The day of becoming you. Also, they don't use too much of a sound effect thing <laughs> that they kind of overused in Day of Becoming You to heighten those moments. The third thing we have to talk about the two leads. I think it's a very successful casting for these two characters, for these two actor actress, particularly for the female lead actress Zhou Yiran. If you still remember, 风犬少年的天空 I think that was the drama that made most of the people become aware of her as such a natural, relaxed actress of her age. She's one of those not super impressively pretty, stunningly beautiful entertainment industry people, and very young. But then when she comes on the screen, she immediately connects to the audience, and you feel it's a very tangible person that she presents, not somebody who's far away, too ideal, too. Pretty too much filter. <laughs> she always acts with her own voice. I don't think she's ever been dubbed, and she's very good at doing that. And then her acting in this drama also keeps to my expectation of her standard, as she would have to play the woman who actually has a man's soul in her. The latest comparison would be Day of Becoming You. I would say for the female character. Who has a male soul in their body role in both dramas? Zhou Yiran did a better job than Liang Jie. In comparison, Ma Sichao in When You Be Me is weaker as a guy. 
that has a woman's soul compared to Zhang Xincheng's role in that drama. That would be the dynamic roughly gauging their performance and their ability to bring out the details and contrast. Occasionally, you would find Ma Sichou's performance in this drama, at least for me, is a little bit too dramatic and on the surface, where he tries to imitate a girl, a very girly expressions and movements and stuff. Kind of a little bit too much. And because probably also because he's a bigger built guy, he's very tall and he's very muscular. Even when he just did a little bit of those very girly archetypical expressions and things, it may just look a little bit too much on screen. Whereas Zhang Xincheng is not so big a built guy, so that might be easier for him to cross. But it's not a bad performance, okay? I'm just comparing those two dramas. And within this drama itself, I also feel Zhou Yiran did a better job than Master Chao as the lead. She is more convincing. That has a guy in her woman's body, whereas the other <laughs> is sometimes it's like, ah, oh, tune it down a bit, it's a little bit too much. But overall, I'm satisfied, I don't find it's a big problem, and I actually didn't realize the leading actor, Ma Sichao, was actually the actor uh, who paired up with Ren Suxi, the actress, in last year Mango Television's short drama, Remembrance of Things Past. So in that sense, it's nice for an actor to be able to do that and actually not remind you of his previous roles. So acting-wise, casting-wise, um, these two young actors did pretty well. The fourth point, an extra point that I really don't think I had with The Day of Becoming You, which is actually like a couple of really interesting supporting roles in this drama. They don't have that much screen time, they're not so essential, but they're lovely. First is the two middle-aged actor-actress playing the female lead's parents. The story is so kind to give us a pair of middle-aged parents who are just so good, who are not supermen, who are not super rich, who are not super capable, but they're very good, very kind, and very understanding parents. And they love their kids, not like some very archetypical Asian parents who just, you know, want their kids to be the best of the best and, you know, be a lawyer and doctor. That <laughs> stereotype parents. They are the type of parents who just want their girl to be happy. And they almost tiptoe around their daughter and because they're so sensitive to her well-being and they're worried about when they approach her with some worries they have, it's gonna make her unhappy. And I'm like, I can't even think of where can you find that kind of parents. Honestly, in reality, it's very rare that you come across that kind of parents. I'm not saying they don't exist, but they're very rare breed. And I'm like, this female lead character is so lucky to have this kind of parents. And those two actors play it so well. And they're so adorable that there's a level of childlike quality of this pair of parents, again, you don't see very archetypically in Chinese drama, such as they worry about their daughter having a relationship with a guy uh, at this second year of high school that's going to impact her study. So they talk privately, like, should we go and ask her and then, you know, talk to her about that. They would literally talk themselves off that topic. Oh, but that happened. So maybe they're not together. Okay, okay. And then they were like, uh, you go. No, 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 you go. And it's like, let's go tomorrow. And then when tomorrow comes, like, so let's go this evening. And when this evening comes, let's go tomorrow morning. They're just trying to convince themselves, talk themselves into giving up with that confrontation. Like, like two kids. It's so cute. Not saying that doesn't exist in reality, but they'd be like the rarest parents in China. And lucky, lucky female lead character. And if I'm starting to get a little bit overexposed, sorry about that, cloud just breaks and sound starts to come out. Cannot control the weather. Then the other person that I just, I'm so happy, I didn't know he's in it. But when I see him come up, I'm like, ah! He's in this drama. The supporting actor who plays the supporting role who doesn't come up that often, but every time he shows up, I'm gonna stare at the screen just to look at him. The actor Li Chuan, older brother of the male lead character, who is a successful young businessman, a couple of years older than his brother, and who's already working at the father's firm and being the good son of the family. This actor, I first noticed him back in the drama Peng Lai Jian, led by Bai Yu. And he's one of the unit story actor who played a Ming Guo setting story. I still remember when I talked about that in that drama review was there's one scene with him dropping one tear and that one tear just broke my heart and it's like such good acting. From that moment on, I'll always remember this actor's voice face and acting. And I'm so happy that he plays the older brother and <laughs> he's, he's still as good looking as he was and his 
character is adorable, okay? Go and watch his drama just for the brother role. I, I guarantee you, you're gonna love him so much. He's so adorable. And then, obviously, because he's actually a, a host of Mango Television in Hunan TV, so he can speak very well. Very well trained Mandarin and line delivery person with a great voice. When he speaks his lines, it sounds like music. He would be one of the reasons that probably will make me continue watching drama till the end. I just want to see all the things he has. He's not really my type uh, for guys, but he's just very mesmerizing for some reason on screen. Now let's talk about things that I think makes this drama just a very standard drama. By which I mean, it wouldn't make people rant about it being a crap drama for sure, but I don't think many people would be also very impressed, or it wouldn't stand out in a competition. Whether it's among the high school romance drama, or among the body swap drama, or just general contemporary young adult drama, really, wherever you place it, probably wouldn't stand out. Basically, you don't have anything to sell it on apart from body swap. And body swap is so common in drama and in film, in novel, like you've tested and tried every possible way of playing that in human history already. It probably will do okay in ratings and everything, but probably wouldn't explode in my opinion. Also, just because this is a high school setup drama and you're limited with that, so there's only that much you can do with the plot and possibilities of what can happen. 26 episodes, to me, I think is still a little bit too long. Ideally for this type of drama, the Korean drama length, 16 episodes, and not even pushing it to like one hour per episode, just doing 45 minutes per episode, 16, probably would be golden. I'm not having a huge problem right now, but while I was watching, there's already part of the drama that I'm not so interested in. That is about the daily lives of the high schoolers. That would just cause me to press the fast forward button. Then the third thing, is it the third point? It does not matter, okay? It's just very personal, 100% personal. At least by now, although I can see the two leads are doing a very good job and I buy into everything they do. Personally, I am not particularly feeling for that chemistry. I'm not saying they don't have, I think they do. But it just happens to be the type of chemistry that doesn't work on me. So when it airs, when new episodes come, I know it comes on a day, I'll go and check it, but I'm not like waiting for it. I'm completely zen and meditative about that. Basically, I'm just like, yeah, it has its time. When the new episodes come, it comes. I am really just want to chase it for that supporting role's <laughs> future scenes. I just really like him for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> so that should conclude my first impression of the drama Fan Zhuan Ren Sheng, Wen Yu, BB. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.